Welcome to the Prop Tracker training videos. Today we are going to cover how to translate your Prop Tracker website into multiple languages. Uh, we're going to be doing this today by linking up different icons or different flag icons, um, giving your users the ability to translate your Prop Tracker website into any language that you choose. Here we are today um, on our uh, demo site. This is our uh, testing environment uh, for the Prop Tracker system. Uh, you'll go ahead and log into your Prop Tracker system. Is what I'd like to do today is go ahead and log into my admin account. And is what I'm going to do is open up my admin account into another tab, allowing me to view my website here along with my admin panel. To do this, uh, go ahead and right click, and we're going to uh, open up in a new tab. Once you've done that, go ahead and log into your Prop Tracker admin system and go ahead and scroll down to the uh, settings section. Underneath the settings section, we have our widgets. The widget that we're going to be using today is our text based widget, allowing us to utilize uh, custom HTML. So I found my text widget here, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drag it over to the area um, that I'd like it to display at, and I want this to show up um, on our home page right above our social network icons. To get started by adding your own um, custom icons, um, you'll need to go ahead and locate um, the icons that you would like to use on your website. Or if you would like, uh, there is a download button um, on this blog post that allows you to utilize the code that we're using in this demonstration. Now we're only utilizing uh, three icons. We're using English, German, and Spanish to show you how easy it is to set up uh, multiple languages on your Prop Tracker website. So if you click the download button, um, on the Prop Tracker blog post. It'll take you over to um, our page here that'll look a lot like this. Um, this is the HTML code that we're going to use uh, to quickly explain uh, kind of what's going on here um, within this text. Um, we're going to go ahead and highlight this first section here. Um, and kind of quickly go over what is going on here. Uh, this a href equals pound symbol is the link that we're sending it to. Um, we're going to actually adjust this a little bit later on um, to have it link back to um, our demo website so where it looks like it translates it back into English. But when reality is what it does is it just links us right back to um, our website. As you can see here, we've uploaded our English icon, um, and then we've left the alt and the title tags blank for you to fill in later. Uh, the very next line, this line that we're highlighting here, um, you can see that we are actually linking off to translate.google, um, and then this big URL string actually is telling it that we are translating uh, proptracker.com into German. Then we have our image source, which we're actually pulling our German icon or our German flag icon onto the system. The next one down is our Spanish icon. Um, also, it links to translate.google, and it actually translates proptracker.com into Spanish for us. Now, you're more than welcome to use these icons um, if you would like. Um, this is just to help get you started, um, help point you in the right direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select all of this text. I'm going to actually copy it, and then we're going to bring it over here, and we're actually going to hit uh, and paste it directly into this widget. Once you've done that, go ahead and click Save. Head back over to your website. Make sure that everything uh, turned out correctly. I'm going to go ahead and hit F5 to refresh my page. Uh, make sure everything loaded correctly. As I scroll down, you can see um, this is the widget that we had created um, by using the code uh, that we provided for you. Real simple, basic, um, get you started. Now we're going to go into how to edit that code so where it fits into your uh, website, so where you're not displaying prop tracker in Spanish on your website. As you can see, um, when I click on an icon here, it actually takes us over to translate.google, uh, displays the prop tracker website in Spanish. So now let's say we, we want to update that code to reflect your website. To do so, we're going to go ahead and click back and get back onto our website. But as what we're going to do is we're actually going to go into the widget and we're going to edit that code. But first we need to translate your website. So let's head back 
over to Google Translate and is what we're going to do is we're actually going to change the URL to your website. For example, if I'd like to translate google.com, for example, just type in your URL and hit enter. Then is what we're going to do is we're actually going to copy this URL here because this is going to be our link um, that we're going to be adding. So I'm going to go ahead and copy it, head back over to our widget, and inside of our widget you need to locate the ahref tag for that specific icon. So first I locate the Spanish icon because is what we're going to do is we're actually going to change uh, the link um, from the prop tracker in Spanish over to Google in Spanish. So I've located the icon here now is what I need to do is locate the link and as you can see ahref equals meaning that this is the link that uh, that icon links to we need to replace what we copied with the information that we gained um, over at Google Translate because we've updated the URL that it's translating so as you can see now I've translated um, or replaced the existing prop tracker in Spanish URL to the Google in Spanish and I'm going to go ahead and hit save so that way it updates the website. Now let's head back over here and we're going to go back a few um, web pages here and we're going to hit F5 make sure that um, the Spanish is actually going to google.com in Spanish. <clears throat> And just like that, you're all set. So to quickly go over this one more time, utilizing the code that we provide for you, if you copy and paste that into your widget to help get you started, then click on those links, it'll actually take you to Google Translate. And then is what you can do is just replace the URL with your URL, click Translate, copy this information, copy this URL or this address, and paste it into the appropriate area. Now is what we need to do is to link up that English icon um, so where if somebody were to go back um, let's say they translated your website into Spanish and now they want to go back to English instead of going through Google Translate we want to link it just directly back to your website. Um, this is done by visiting your website so is what we're going to do is open up a brand new tab we're going to go to demo um, which is our uh, demo website and we're going to copy this URL then we're going to head back to our widget and this pound symbol which is our English um, icon uh, means that it's not going to go anywhere and we're going to update this with our new URL meaning that we're going to link it back to our website just like that you click save and everything's all set so what we'll do is we can actually visit our website hit F5 make sure that the changes have taken effect and as you can see in the bottom left corner of this window it says demo.myproptracker so now this icon the English icon now links back to our website please let us know if you have any questions if you'd like um, any help please contact us uh, by visiting the prop tracker support center and thank you for watching our training video today